piccalilli is an English interpretation of Indian pickles, a relish of chopped pickled vegetables and spices. Regional recipes vary considerably. Etymology The Oxford English Dictionary traces the word to the middle of the 18th century when, in 1758, Hannah Glass described how to make Paco Lilla, or India pickle. An apparently earlier reference is in Lady Anne Blancow's receipt book, written c. 1694, which has to pickle Lila, an Indian pickle credited to Lord Kilmery. The more familiar form of the word appears in 1769, in Elizabeth Raffal's The Experienced English Housekeeper, as to make Indian pickle, or piccolillo. The spelling piccolilli can be seen in an advertisement in a 1799 edition of The Times. British Piccolilli British piccalilli contains various vegetables a euro and variably cauliflower and vegetable marrow a euro, and seasonings of mustard and turmeric. A more finely chopped variety sandwich piccalilli is also available from major British supermarkets. It is used as an accompaniment to foods such as sausages, bacon, eggs, toast, cheese, and tomatoes. It is similar to a sweet pickle such as Branston pickle, except it is tangier and slightly less sweet colored bright yellow rather than brown, and the chunks are larger. It is usually used to accompany a dish on a plate rather than as a bread spread. It is popular as a relish with cold meat such as ham and brawn, and with a plowman's lunch. It is produced both commercially and domestically, the latter product being a traditional mainstay of women's institute and farmhouse product stalls. American Piccalilli, in the northeastern United States, Commercial piccalillis are based on diced sweet peppers either red or green. This style is somewhat similar to sweet pepper relish, with the piccalilli being distinguished by having a darker red or green color and like British piccalilli, the chunks are larger and it is slightly sweeter. It is a popular topping on such foods as hamburgers and hot dogs. Traditional, British-style yellow piccalilli is also available. In the Midwestern United States, Commercial piccalillis are based on finely chopped gherkins. Bright green and on the sweet side, they are often used as a condiment for Chicago-style hot dogs. This style is sometimes called neon relish. In the southern United States, piccalilli is not commonly served. In its place, chow chow, a relish with a base of chopped green tomatoes is offered. This relish may also include onions, bell peppers, cabbage green beans and other vegetables. While not exactly similar to other piccalillis, chow chow is often called as such and the terms may be used interchangeably. Piccalilli is uncommon in the western United States. Surinamese piccalilli, a far spicier variant of piccalilli comes from the former Dutch colony of Suriname, where traditional British piccalilli is mixed with a sambal made of garlic and yellow Madame Jeanette peppers. This piccalilli is often homemade but can also be bought in jars in Dutch corner shops. Whilst Surinamese piccalilli is similar in appearance to ordinary piccalilli, the taste is much spicier. Media references, as a term for a mixed collection, piccalilli lends its name to several books of poems, for example, Piccalilli, a mixture, by Gilbert Percy, and Dilly Dilly Piccalilli, Poems for the Very Young, by Myra Cohn Livingston. Mr. Piccalilli is the name of a character in the children's book Mr. Pod and Mr. Piccalilli, by Penny Dolan. The semi-autobiographical book Vet in Harness by James Herriot includes an amusing anecdote in which Herriot uses a particularly spicy piccalilli to help make an unsavory meal more palatable and avoid offending his well-meaning hosts. This story was also published by Reader's Digest magazine under the title The Piccalilli Saves My Bacon. Piccalilli receives an honorable mention in the Harry Champion song, A Little Bit of Cucumber. See also, Pickling, A Car, A Cha. References External links, Piccalilli Recipes from Recipe Source, British Piccalilli Recipe from the BBC, US. Southern Style Chow Chow.